welcome back to my channel and I have another stamping video for you today. So I have said um, sort of across my social media, I may have mentioned it in my um, some of my previous videos, I absolutely adore stamping. Um, it's probably one of the things I was more known for doing uh, before I got going with my YouTube channel uh, and a lot of my first ever videos were stamping swatches, stamping videos and then once I got back into acrylic I kind of put stamping to one side for a bit and forgot about it or I didn't forget about it as such I just I wasn't, I wasn't so focused on it but I have decided it is time to get my stampers out and uh, get back into it because I absolutely love stamping. Yes, I did say I want to um, get working on my freehand art, but for something quick, easy, simple to add something uh, a little bit more to your nails, stamping is amazing. Now, one of my absolute favorite brands of stamping plates is Dixie plates uh, and if you sort of scroll down to some of my first ever videos you will see there are a few Dixie plate videos down there. Um, Dixie plates is the creation of Kate Dix who is a, another YouTuber and blogger and these plates are amazing. They are great quality, really nice to work with and some gorgeous gorgeous images. Um, so Getting back into stamping, I will definitely be featuring Dixie plates a lot just because they are really nice plates and there is so much I can show you. So in this video I am going to be focusing on the latest plate which is Summer 02. So this is the second Summer plate. You wouldn't have guessed that though would you? <laughs> Not from that name. <laughs> so yeah, this is the second summer plate. I did get the uh, I did get plate one last summer. It was amazing. Uh, I wouldn't have thought Kate could uh, equal or top this plate, but she did because summer O2 is just as fabulous. So I am going to focus on one of the images from this plate today. Now I have already swatched this plate and there is a post on my blog, uh, which is my website. Um, the details for that should be on the screen here, but I will also leave it in the description box. Uh, and if you would like to check out a little bit more information about the plate and the brand and see those swatches, head on over there. Not yet. Don't leave me, not yet. <laughs> um, head on over there when I, you finish watching this video and have a bit of a read. Uh, but when I was doing those swatches, there was one image and I was itching. <laughs> I was like, come on. Um, but I was like, no, 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 no. I'm gonna do a video with this one. Um, and I'm gonna try a couple of things out with this image um, to decide how I'm going to do my own nails next. So I am going to be using five little display tips, one image and one set of glow in the dark pigments. So these I got in my nail me haul if you'd like to check out that video. I've just learned how to do this so there's going to be a lot of these videos. <laughs> Um, check out that video here but I got these neon neon I got these glow-in-the-dark pigments and I was like oh, I need to do something with them I wanted to glow-in-the-dark nails on me so I'm going to use these uh, pigments in this video and I'm going to create five different um, patterns designs looks with these pigments and that one image from the Dixie Summer 02 plate now I had a quick play with these pigments, I got out sort of the purpley colour because I wanted to see if they did actually give any colour to the swatch stick or if I had to put colour underneath, see where I needed to go. This is, I don't know if, how well you can see that, oh there you go. So this is the um, sort of purpley lilac pigment and they come out on top of white gel polish, this re these really nice pastely colours, well at least I hope the rest do. So, that is what I'm going for. 
it's gorgeous and it glows in the dark unfortunately it's daylight and daytime and I've got lights everywhere so it's not gonna glow but I will pop some pictures at the end so that is enough about what I'm gonna do I think it's time to do it <laughs> so as always I will pop all the links in the description box to the products that I have used if you would like to check out that blog post on Dixie Plates, the link for that is in the um, description box also. Please go and check out my website. <laughs> um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, or you can give it that one, doesn't matter. Don't forget to click that subscribe button, and if you don't want to miss my videos in future, make sure you uh, press that little bell and you will get notified when I upload that's if you can't live without the madness that is me <laughs> but with all of that I am going to get on with um it's not swatching I'm going to get on with this pigment playtime So I am using Saltstone, which is the white gel polish from Nail Kami. This is a perfect one coater, uh, so great for using underneath pigments and things. Uh, and I'm going to cure for 30 seconds. So these are the pigments I am using. You get 12 in the tray. And I'm going to start off with just a full colour nail. Uh, and I'm using this pink one. Uh, the brush I'm using is a sort of a pencil eyeshadow brush. But it's great for applying pigments and dusts in my opinion. Uh, and once I've covered the nail, I'm going to use a fan brush just to get rid of any excess. I did find this one applied a bit patchy but because I was covering it in stamping it wasn't a problem uh, and once I've got rid of the excess I'm just going to float over a nice coat of my Nail Kami No Wipe Top Coat and cure that for 30 seconds so this is the image I'm using it's a really nice negative space image giving it a wipe over with some acetone and I'm using my clear jelly stamper and the black stamping polish which I get from Nail Dot Supplies. Uh, now I am going to do a stamping video in my Back to Basics series so I'm not going to give too much in-depth info on how I stamp in this video. I'm just going to quickly go through it. So I've rolled over my stamper to pick up that image and just look how beautiful it is. Lining it up where I want it and then I sort of do a rock and rolling to make sure it all transfers. And that is the first design done. So again, going in with salt stone, applying just a nice thin coat before curing for 30 seconds. For this one, I'm going to use the yellow and green pigments and uh, I'm going to do a vertical ombre. <laughs> I felt very um, proper using that term. So just gonna give my uh, brush a good clean off. I always give it a wipe like on my kitchen roll in between colors. Starting with the yellow, I'm taking that down one side and sort of blending it into the center of the nail and then repeating with the other color on the other side and just sort of blending the two colors together by just brushing the brush over, dusting away the excess and then again, top coating and curing that for 30 seconds. So exactly the same for the stamping. I've cleaned the image, cleaned the stamper off on my lint roller. And then there we go. Lining up over top of the uh, image rock and roll it and hopefully you can see it transitioning yellow to green guess what i'm going in with a nice thin coat of salt stone again and then gonna pop that in my led lamp to cure for 30 seconds so i'm gonna use these three colors um i find pink, purple and blue are really nice in the summer for um, a sort of horizontal ombre. Um, so 
that is what I'm going to do. So starting with the pink, uh, I'm going to work at the top of the nail, uh, just applying the pigment and just sort of patting it down and blending it out. So using less as I get to where the next colour is going to be, I'm going to apply that starting over top of the pink slightly and then blending it down and going in with the last colour overlapping it with that purple ever so slightly to get a blend it doesn't have to be perfect because I am stamping it over top of it but I'm going to be honest I find the found these pigments blended really nicely doing an ombre um, I was really pleased with that once the excess has been dusted away, I'm going to top coat and cure for 30 seconds. So stamping. I apply a line of stamping polish down one side of the image, holding my scraper, give it a quick firm scrape and then gently roll the stamper over the image. And then again, I'm going to line it up and there's number three done. So you didn't really need me for this bit, but <laughs> in again with salt stone and then going to cure that. So I am using these three colours. This look was so summery and it's actually what I went with in the end on my nails. Although I loved it so much I couldn't stamp over it. Just having some lid issues here <laughs> and couldn't get the lid off, but I did in the end. <laughs> well, this was a really long issue. Da, 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 da. There we go. And then the pink. And for this design, I just randomly splodged it. You need to see it to understand what I'm saying. Just splodged it on. I'm not worrying about getting rid of any excess at this point. Literally just splodge, 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 splodge. Giving the brush a wipe off in between colours and then using that fan brush dusting away the excess and you get sort of a random splodginess and then on with that top coat and yep I'm going to cure for 30 seconds right straight in with the stamping scrape roll oh, just love that image and then line it up rock and roll and there's number four done Right, for the last time, I'm going to apply a nice thin coat of salt stone and then pop it in my LED lamp to cure for 30 seconds. And I'm using a rainbow of colours this time. So all of those. <laughs> uh, so yellow, pink, orange, I'm just ordering them up. Green, blue and purple. This is my rainbow order. No, it's not. I've changed it. Da, 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 da. And then starting at the top, I'm doing it on a slight slantiness. Uh, and I'm just doing a little line of each colour, making sure it overlaps with the previous one. And just going all the way down until I have applied all of the colours. Move them out of the way when I dust off the excess. And then in with my, or on, should I say, with my top coat. And then that will cure for 30 seconds. <laughs> right, for the last time, stamping. So applying my polish. Quick scrape, or a couple of scrapes that time. <laughs> Gently roll the stamper over. It's still picked up perfectly. Mm, couldn't pick up the um, tip though and then rock and roll and there is the last one done and there are my five different designs all together so the last thing I've got to do now is go in with top coat now I always double coat top coat when I'm doing it on actual nails but I only do once when I'm swatching it just double top coat make sure you really do seal in all of that top coat once it's done, I'm going to cure that for um, 30 seconds in my LED lamp and that is my uh, five nail Kami glow in the dark pigment designs done. And here they are glowing. These pigments glow brilliantly. This video really doesn't show them off, but I've had these on my nails for a few weeks now 
and at night time they actually make me jump they glow that well <laughs> but thank you so much for watching this video as always I will pop all the links in the description box for the products I have used please give this video a thumbs up don't forget to click that subscribe button and I will see you again very very soon bye for now Mwah.